Uh, Saints on the outside looking at a six and seven, trying to get into the postseason. Their last four games for JLC at the Bucks, home with Miami and Carolina. Then the finale there with the Falcons. If you're looking at those last four games and where they stand right now, could they make a run for you? I think they could. Um, I, I do. You look at some of the advanced metrics with that team. Uh, they're better than their record. And Taysom Hill has settled things down a little bit at the quarterback position. It's not, it's not great. It's not, uh, the, you know, the greatest show on turf offensively. But they're able to run the ball. They've got a really good defense. Um, and the quarterback just has to be able to keep drives going with his legs and make a few big third down passes. And they're going to be in these games. And by and large, they have been in these games. We'll see if they catch Tampa sleeping a little bit this weekend. Um, you know, that, that, that's kind of going to be the Saints Super Bowl, I think. And the rest of those teams, I, I think, are certainly beatable. And, and there is a path for the Saints to stack three more divisional and thus conference victories. And those are always key tiebreakers, especially if we're talking about a scenario where there's a two- or three-way tie for a wild-card spot. So, yes, I would say the Saints are still a dangerous team. In New Orleans, still, of course, has that win over the Bucks not too long ago, but Trevor Simeon was the quarterback at that point. Us. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.